Pathetic Aesthetic is a series of live streams where Rada and Jimbles talk about card artwork. This episode, Assault Mode. There is nowhere left to run. Engage microphone buzzing. Greetings, people. Welcome to. I am to... the microphone buzz. I am Rada and he is buzz, microphone buzz. Light here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, of archetype command. <laughs> <clears throat> um, why the fuck it say category big rigs? Because we're rigs and we're big. In this That's show, cool. we are hate card art, or at least we pretend to do so. We're not art students, but we do have issues. So we shall do so in this episode. On Jimbo's, please introduce tonight's batch of archetypes or cards or whatever. Well, some of you may have known if you uh, survived the blitzkrieg of updates that Konami fucked us with uh, today. Assault mode continues to get support for reasons that I don't think anyone here can fathom. Not Rada, not me, not you. It's because we said sicko mode a bunch of times in the last couple of streams. We dreamed it into existence, as it were. Yes. And don't so don't it, let your memes only stay memes. Turn them into so, dreams. Exactly. So in in since Konami is so interested in pushing these cards once again, for reasons once again beyond my understanding, uh, we figured it would be best to take you back through this archetype, such as it is, and show you why this is a terrible idea and these cards should never be used. <laughs> <laughs> these suckers are ugly. So, I'm gonna assume we start off with the assault modes and not the uh, support animals, because we're gonna look over the animals too. Yeah, it's, it's we need we need animals. to get the we need to get the assault modes out of the way so we can make up a meta story for the support card. <laughs> See what exactly happened here. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a, an art autopsy, really, when you think about mm -hmm. it. We're trying to figure out what went so wrong. Archetype morgue. <laughs> I like archetype autopsy. That works. And I gotta have the alliteration. Now, because this is such a professional show, you're gonna give me a minute until I dig up high quality arts of these things. In I'll the just meantime, reach out while you do you, that. yeah, you can uh, you can entertain the people while they're at it. Yeah. Do some do yes. some funny voices. E thanks. We have to transition into the funny voices, just as you said. Imagine being so sad you're watching Twitch on Christmas. Imagine being at computers and watching Twitch. Imagine being at computers on Christmas. Art Autopsy, now that's a name you can slap on the video. I like pathetic aesthetic, though. <laughs> Please do not insult my boy Assault Mercenary. Which one is that? Assault oh, you're, you're, about, you're about to see what Assault Mercenary is. So, we're about to start off. Let me just remove the real quick. Please. Revealing Shape's homeworld, as it is known as... Uh, what is the name of his homeworld? It doesn't really have a name that we understand. The shapes people don't speak. They they transmit thoughts to each other in, in the in the purest essence of of understanding. And so their homeworld does not so much Me have a too. name. Oh. <clears throat> anyway. We're anyway, gonna it's called Detroit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, go we're gonna start with the um. Well, what was shown is like the most bottom assault mode beast on Percy, that being Doom Kaiser Dragon. Oh. We're gonna start off with the regular old Doom Kaiser Dragon, of course, that being this boy. Now he's gonna pop out on your screen sometime soon and you're gonna see Easy. what he looks like so we can first talk about him and then we're gonna compare him to the assault mode version. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. He scared me. <laughs> yeah, that is... You know, I never really paid attention to this guy, but that is a freaky fucking dragon. He is like a just a nightmare penis, end to end. And there is a big red weak spot in the middle of his chest in order to shoot. He's a House of the Dead boss. This is incredible. Yeah, it's like a f <laughs> metal slug final boss. He's screaming, oh, Nath. 
I have no problems with this design at all. This is I mean, just... What? He's terrifying. Yeah. Like, in every way. And it's it's even worse when you realize he's got, like, a torso sticking out of him. Which is like he's a got spider. Another, yeah, he's got another torso sticking out of him. And then if you look at his big wings towards the top, they have the same shape. Those are human arms making his wings. He is actually a retrain of Chetonian Emperor Dragon. Now, I don't know how to take this given that it's Spee saying it, but Chetonian Emperor Dragon is already like a health parody of Chaos Emperor Dragon, so I don't know where to take that. Oh, anyway, man. I think my only like complaint about this design is that there's a bit of a discrepancy between his neck and head and how kind of neatly arranged it all is compared to the rest of the body, which is like this really gross mutant dragon. But yeah. it's not really a big deal. This is this is a cool design. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad it exists. I'm glad that it's here with us on this earth. Now, Zerok pointed out, it looks like he's like terrified of himself. He just realized what he is. <laughs> is Wait, there's fucking the, bodies are those going out of my legs. What the fuck? What the fuck? Now we're gonna have a direct comparison here to the assault mode incarnation. Side by side comparison to really see where they went wrong. <clears throat> So, before I reveal it, I want to state for the record, I think, looking at these right now, I can't see the difference, <laughs> but uh -oh. actually I can, I can see approximately one difference, which is, as you're about to see, the uh, gigantic skull face on his chest. <laughs> He's looking at you like, what now, motherfucker? <laughs> Oh, guys, is that what I look like? Okay, now I got a cool skull face. Never mind. <laughs> this is a House of the Dead boss. Yeah, they, uh... <laughs> I think it looks worse. I I firmly agree. There was... I don't want to say the, fr the original design was subtle or anything, but... <laughs> talking about going overboard. Like, Jesus fucking... The, the original design looked like some kind of monster. This just looks like a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's got a big skull on it, and it's a dragon. Like, you're done. <laughs> They needed a couple more faces, honestly. Um, <laughs> see, the thing is... Place. It's kind of hard! I genuinely thought, like, before I saw the original, that his tail in the Assault Mode version, like, the way it's positioned, I thought it was wheels. Oh my god, I thought it was a, sick. I thought it was a dragon with a skull face chest and wheels. That's like something you see on the back of some old dude's jacket. Thank you, Felling Gax, for subscribing with Tuichu Puraimu. And it says, like, don't fuck with me, I was born in November. <laughs> uh, I'm addicted to Percocets. <laughs> Somebody make that image. Speed, please get on that. <laughs> I, I like that Assault Mode is just, he can hold things now. He has arms. The, I made a deal with the devil, and the devil gave me hands. <laughs> I mean, as we saw from the last episode, dragons have a very tumultuous relationship with hands. Yeah, they, they, don't, right. they don't like the... I mean, for sure. So, yeah, that skull really <laughs> kind of... He-Man! I am a dragon <laughs> now, He-Man! <laughs> I have wheels! I have wheels! He I'm just Unlike you, <laughs> I can participate in traffic! <laughs> Can you go on the freeway? <laughs> I don't think so, He-Man! So, original 4 out of 10, Assault Mode 2. I mean, not 10, 5. I keep saying 10, yeah, I just noticed in the list. 4 out of 5, 2 out of 5. I, I can agree with that. <laughs> I can absolutely- Hi, GCD. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants a digital hug. Let me give him a- That's what I sound like when is, I give hugs. The, I was about to say, is it is it the hug noise? Oh. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Yeah. Okay. So that was that was that that was disturbing. Okay. Let that me. Was horrible. Next up, we um. We have not quite. Not quite Arcana Force. Uh oh. But Arcanite Force. Oh yeah, this guy is like almost good. Oh wow, and it's sure taking a while to load, probably because there is so much wonderful detail to take into in this artwork, so the page cannot so handle it. So much quality. Um, hmm. 
Kit Ragnell just says a uh, Merry Christmas, friend, and gave you a hundred purple. Thank you no for hundred purple logos. No Man's Sky logos. I love those. I think <laughs> they're delicious. I love eating No Man's Sky. Okay, it. we don't actually have to load the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh wiki because Google Images has pictures too. Oh, so we load those out for a minute, and we load in the next batch. Real quick. So. Uh, <laughs> okay, so so Shvi has very creatively interpreted our request. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like his idea better. I do. I I, I have to say it. It works. Okay, so next up we have Arcanite Magician, and this is a lad. Which you're about to see. I think I should probably work on kind of equalizing this stream. Oh, what's up, Deltarune? <laughs> what? <laughs> he looks like a uh, Deltarune. A, a Deltarune. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, this is my favorite Deltarune, Arcanite Magician. Um, he's got the Dark Magician face tattoos things going on, and he's like... Yeah. This is a man I can imagine having a very formidable penis. But... <laughs> Does does he does he have horns or does his hood just be like that? Does he have like stuffed horns like that were sewn onto his hood? We we're about to see in the assault mode version, I think. Oh no. So Arcanite Magician, oh looks pretty neat. Um I like that he's got this flowing thing going on, and he's just got this big leather belt sitting in the middle of his torso. <laughs> You know, coming off from the Odd Eyes discussion from a couple of days ago, with less spikes, I would have liked this a bit more. Uh, I think yeah. the horns look ostensibly silly. Um, also, the gigantic shoulders... What, what is that for? Knocking off urns? And he you... does just look like a World of Warcraft character at this point. Yeah, it, it is giving me the WoW vibe. And the face, again, is just Dark Magician is cosplaying or something. He didn't really feel the purple this time, so he went with a bit of white. Dark Magician, like, lost a bet and had to dress up like this for a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's, I'm Arcanite now, actually. Uh, please look in chat by uh, the image by K K Kentucky Ken Fried Chicken, yes. Oh my, yeah. I was about to bring that up. Look at that <laughs> I want to wear that. I'm I would wear that. It's pretty sick. Uh, okay, so... To compare it to the Assault Mode version... And nobody's looking forward to this. Not a soul. Uh, Sometimes I forget that Sans' full name isn't actually Sans Undertale. I mean, same? It's just habit now that I call him that. Alright, let's see this man. Alright, so here is... <laughs> Arcanite Magician, but he took off the hood. Uh-oh. You know, I never really thought about that. You're about to see it, but... Oh. Arcanite Magician Assault Mode is Arcanite Magician who bothered to take the clo his clothes off. Yeah, he took off his 10-ton robes, and now he's more Yeah, powerful. that was like his weighted clothing. Cause, no, because you can see, like, he has the armor on under yes. that robe. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I meant. So he took off... It must be. It, it took a lot of effort to take those clothes <laughs> off. They must have just blown off him, because there's no way you're getting that off just by, like, pulling it off. That is... That is so weird, like, you see all the <laughs> other assault modes and it's like, shit added on top of them, but no, this is just a dude with less shit on him, which in turn makes it look like there's more shit on him because the thing under him is more detailed. Yeah, it's uh, Arcanite Magician, but he stopped dressing like a fucking idiot. Alright, let's do this proper. Okay. Now I'm ready. Okay. Why are you I'm... still laughing? Stop! <laughs> I was just fucking around back there. I don't actually wear- I was in my pajamas! Yeah. I was in my pajamas, I, just, I was just out of bed, I didn't even have my morning coffee. Arcanite Magician just woke up mode. Yeah. Oh, he sleeps in his armor. That much I believe. <laughs> Probably because he can't take it off, look at that. And he switched his staff to his dominant hand so that he has one hand free. Oh, look at that, Chad Flex. God, look at him. He's, he really kind of go. emanates a lot of big dick energy from both of the poses. If you um, look, though, at, like, his torso and his legs, he's a scrawny little Yeah, fucker. look at his legs! What is? What are those sticks? He's a little, he 
He's a little skinny boy. God, I, I like saw... I I feel like these horns and shoulders are might be compensating for something. Um Also uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. If you scroll up a little bit, Xerox made his own uh, Doom Kaiser dragon. <clears throat> I can send oh, you the Oh, wait, I saw it. I it <laughs> what? Okay, I'm not comfortable I'm looking at that. Here I come. Oh, I don't like looking at that. Okay, uh, anyway. I'm not this sure how just... to feel about this. Because, again, the horns are actually like a thing sticking out under his... So, uh, I'm sorry, I want to point out. This means he specifically... His robes uh, that go over him are specifically designed to fit... Over that, like, crappy costume from the Assault Mode version. Which is yes. really silly to think about. <laughs> this is just kind of how he looks like. Do you have a hood that has horn holes? <laughs> but I don't want the horns to show. I just want them to have, like, a space to go in. Do you have that? Thank you. Why am I being asked to leave? Uh, there is also another Arcanite Magician variation, which I'm Small sure... leg energy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, which, just tell me which one do you think is, think looks better. Alright, let's have a look. No, I... Oh, is this like alternate art? No, no, I mean, uh, between these two. Oh. Um. Honest, I, the, the, the one on the right just looks like Dark Magician support that they decided to make its own thing. <clears throat> like, it's, it's even more Dark Magician now than it was. The one on the left is some fucking idiot who I, I, I don't even really know how to parse. Mm. He's in like a fucking magic snuggie. I think I like the left one better. I, I would have liked the left one better if I didn't have the info on the right. Yeah, that's sort of the thing, is you're now burdened with knowledge. Oh, so like this the... guy has like an entire set of level 60 w vanilla <laughs> WoW armor under that. That is kind of <laughs> distracting. I do like that his hat is just flaccid. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about either of these, but I'm going to say I like the left one better. So that is a uh, 3.5 and next to a 3. I'm going to give them both a 3. Alrighty, ID. Um, oh, next one is... <laughs> next one's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not going to bother with Supreme Arcanite Magician because it, it is just overkill. Yeah, that, that's getting a little off into the weeds. Yeah, it's Arcanite Magician with more orbs, more purple shit. Arcanite Magician, Supreme Sicko mode. And so, if, if there's anything we needed, it's more orbs. <clears throat> Next up, we have a card you may have heard of, but I'm not gonna yeah. risk assuming, so I'll wait until the I Konami put it orbs. up. Konami orbs, that's right. <laughs> we always need more fucking Konami orbs. The Konami orb touched me in my sleep last night. I mean, same. Just rename this series to Orb Patrol. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Orb Patrol. If we see him, it's there's gonna be trouble. Can you report orbs to, like, an agency? Is there an IRS for orbs? Uh, are you trying to audit the Arcanite Magician? If I can, he's going. He's going where White Wing Magician is. <laughs> I think that he was actually responsible for White Fang Magician getting on. <clears throat> oh wow, well, that is a small resolution picture. Give me a second. I believe in you. Um, you guys are gonna have to forgive me. There is. Why is it so hard to find? <laughs> Why is it so hard to find art of these cards no one Well, not quite a card no one uses. Why is it so hard to find art of fucking Stardust Dragon? Oh, Of high well, that's, quality. That's yeah, that one I don't know. You know what, I'm just gonna- everybody knows what he looks like. I'm just gonna stretch this small resolution art I found out. Yeah, fuck him. Uh, blurry. Well, actually, that looks just fine. So, here's- Stardust Dragon. Thank you, strange words, for your strange words. Merry Christmas to you, too. Um, there he is. He's... God, he's a mess. We should do just, like, the dual dragons at some point. At some point, but not yet. Uh, I have always have had mixed feelings about Stardust Dragon. I think he is way too busy of a design for, a, for like, a protagonist ace. 
But yeah. at the same time, he has this kind of <clears throat> energy that really fits you, say, which is like tattered, uh, tattered glory. Because look yeah. at his wings, uh, look at his like kind of pointy, ugly design, but then that contrasted with the theme of Stardust and all this like glorious shit that goes along with him and his entire mythology and sh and she's like looks don't matter it is the spirit and the power there is a kind of you say's character teaming built into this thing i mean more so in junk warrior but stardust dragon also goes with it it's, i mean especially the wings play into this whole thing because those wings look like sheets they don't look like wings <laughs> also he I has mean... tits yeah my opinion is 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 pretty simple. I think that Akira Toriyama needs to retire. He needs to stop giving Frieza new forms. It's not interesting anymore. Like, come the fuck on. This is what I this is what I get for trying a serious conversation. <laughs> I, I I I do agree with everything you said, but also this just looks like a fan made Frieza form. Is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my less favorite. <laughs> Like, one of my less favored protagonist ace monsters when it comes to visual design. I don't hate him, but he's just sort of... He looks very silly. His I, head is an airplane. I think my least favorite part of this entire design is his fucking nose. Not his tits? I can live, <laughs> with, I can live with the tits. I cannot live with the spear dragon nose. <laughs> it sounds a little racist, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just lower this real quick and Dragon show you teeth. and show you and show you quite something yeah you know how in dark souls they sometimes leave player messages that just say quite something ahead yes you're about to see some of that i i believe Isn't Quasar's nose even worse? I mean, as you get <clears throat> up in the Stardust Dragon, like, uh, line, his nose just becomes more and more a part of his face. Until it's like this gigantic spear protrusion thing. It's really fucking So you bad. know how <clears throat> Doom Kaiser Assault Mode was just Doom Kaiser with some wacky shit stuck on top of him? Yes. So, Stardust Dragon Assault Mode is Stardust Dragon, but more. Yes. I'm, I'm a As little you're about to see. Alright. <laughs> As you're oh. about to see. <laughs> oh, God. This is another one where the posing doesn't look dangerous. It just looks like he's in pain. Three, three and a half years ago, I've heard a man say... Assault mode, more like assault in my fucking eyes. <laughs> there, this is like the definition of a lot going on. <clears throat> there is, like, you can... It takes you really a couple of seconds to figure out what's where on this artwork and, like, what position he's in and what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Because, like, it's just Stardust Dragon, like everyone is, is very eager to point out. But he's condensed into a much smaller frame, like he's closer to the viewer. And he's got a lot more of this extraneous shit going on. Armor, arm armor, the... armor! I got... Yeah, his ar I, I got <laughs> bludgeon protection. Try and get me his... now, goblin attack force! <laughs> Try and get me now, goblins! <laughs> I don't like him! <laughs> I don't like goblins! <laughs> but, like, his arm that's reaching towards you is, like, hidden behind this fucking Bakugan thing that he's wearing. Nothing about this makes any visual sense until you stare at it for like two minutes. I don't like the only this. Armor should wear a splat armor. <laughs> Effectively, but the armor <laughs> looks so wacky and out of place on him. Because I was talking about this whole thing of like tattered glory of the original. There's none of that here. It's just a fucking fancy dragon in an armor suit, and that is really kind of boring to me compared to the original. It's like confusing. Glory. Even as aside from being a clusterfuck in card art, like from just a sheer design perspective, I don't like this compared to the original Stardust. Yeah, absolutely not. It's really bad. I don't want to rate the original Stardust because my feelings are so mixed on it. I still like him. I just wish he didn't have so much going on. The other one though is like a 
1.5. It's a mess. It's a real fucking mess. I feel like if they just, even if they just like sort of drew the frame back a little more, let us see more of him, and don't have him like scrunched up, trying to like hide his horrible face. Because look at his like hand there. I gotta get ya. Don't look at me. <laughs> God left me too finished. <laughs> God finished me and then kept going. Nobody did that joke in the last one. I know. But if, if, all great work is derivative. I'll have you know. What does that wing armor even do? Protect him from pigeons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's only got it on the ends and it's got like... He's just screaming in assault mode. What's he screaming for? He's in assault mode. That's what you do. You scream. I thought I found a decent scan of Colossal Fighter, but then Google Image, uh, Google Images popped me up with a hosted on photobucket.com, and I cannot use that because uh, son of a bath. Because it's not Photo Bucket Fighter. It's Colossal Fighter. However, the Yu-Gi-Oh Wiki saves the day as usual. Not to mention their amazing trivia page, where you can find info such as. This card's Colossal in its name is reference to the fact that he's big. Uh, colossal Fighter... Salt Mode. Did you, do you know what the uh, Japanese name for Salt Mode is? I do not. Slash Buster. Oh yeah, that's right. Surashu Buster. I don't know, they it's... kind of insist on keeping the slash symbol as part yeah, of the, the name. Yeah, the forward slash is what confuses me. Like, you could have just put a dash there. He is a slash buster. <laughs> uh, he is the guitarist of Guns N' Roses. So, let's look at Colossal Fighter real quick first. This is a slash buster. <laughs> <laughs> See this? This is a slash. Oh. I think, I think this guy looks cool. This is like a 90s Rob Liefeld, Liefeld, whatever, design, but like, <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, he's really great. I, I can't look at him the same way anymore, though. Why? Because a few years back, I watched a video of a guy, like, meticulously drawing over him until he was Goku. Oh. And it fucked me up. Irreparably. I, I... I never noticed him. He has, like, sick sunglasses, though. Like cyber yeah, shades. he's got six cyber shades. Uh, cyber shades. He's like uh, this dirty gold color, which is pretty appealing. Uh, yeah. He's not catastrophically busy with detail. This no, is a guy that that could be like fun to draw and really fun to see in like action scenarios. Like a superhero guy. He looks like a robot master that we never got to see because he was just too sick. <clears throat> His name is uh, Colossal Man. Yeah, there you go. That works. Like, tell me, if I said to you, <laughs> this is Colossal Man, he's in the new Mega Man, would you not believe me? Yeah, I can believe that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah this, he looks this cool as shit, though. Like, you could tell he would just... He's got a bulge, a but which 90s, big 90s superhero didn't have a bulge, His so... dick has to go somewhere, dude. Why, why you gotta give him a hard time? Again, people are pointing out he's got a lot of unnecessary orbs, but I have seen orbs in worse places than... Uh, listen... I can put the in a lot of like ca cards, but I wouldn't have the heart to put it on Colossal Fighter because well, these orbs feel like they're in place. They don't feel like they're sticking out too horribly. I can look at this and think, "Oh, look, some orbs. That's not a big deal." Yeah, compare compare this to the fucking Konami orbs on Odd Eyes, where they're just sort of hovering around him. They're protruding out. They're distorting his form. Here, they're set into his body. And most of them are pretty small. He's got two bigger ones on the biceps that bulge out, but also he's got to have big biceps. He's a big dude. Like th these are or these are good orbs. These are orbs that make sense. Like the worst thing I can say about this guy is that he looks a bit boring, because a little, yeah. It is just a it is a colossal man. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like an inoffensive design. It is it's just. He... <laughs> Here's mildly it. appealing, and I don't hate it. That's fine. Yeah, here's late generic synchro, everyone. Uh, Good boy orbs. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, with Colossal Fighter Assault Mode, they just kind of... I don't want to say they abandoned whatever detail was it that made Colossal Fighter Colossal Fighter, but 
This is what it looks like now. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> GCD's already like, he gets a jetpack, right? Oh, not only a jetpack. Oh. Holy shit, he looks cool. So that is the epitome of sicko mode. <laughs> this is what it looks like. He's even pointing at you like, you know. You know this what's This is about what it looks happen. like to go sicko mode. You know it. <laughs> I like how this the... Is Mega Man. <laughs> the only aspects of Colossal Fighter that were retained were his chest, which was barely even visible in the original, and his face, which is being obscured by his giant shoulder. It's being like, obscured it, by, like, his chest plate. <clears throat> uh, I think I <laughs> I was always bothered by in this card art is that the sky takes up, like, 40% of the picture. Because, like, they could have moved him up a bit so that I can, like, see the rest of the design. But I think this looks pretty sick by comparison. I think this is, like, what an assault mode should be. I would agree with that. He's got a fucking jetpack. The design has changed, but it's, like, built off of his original. But his original was so simple, I guess it would be hard to do this one wrong. Yeah, this is, like, they stuck they stuck more shit on top of him, but it, none of it still feels, like, intrusive or anything. It's not busy. It's not obnoxious. It looks like an upgrade, and that's pretty sweet. It's like seeing a Mega Man X final, like, endgame armor on top of yeah, Mega Man X, except with less detail, because those tend to be kind of ugly. Uh, yeah, this, you start as the guy on the left, you end as the guy on the right, yeah. you get fucking Gen X ally dick protector hovering around your crotch area there. It People... does not look like it's part of them. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta have it. That's where he stores the <laughs> snacks. <laughs> He stores the snacks next to his package. <laughs> big dick energy. That's that's a big sweat energy, dude. That's a problem. <laughs> you don't store snacks where you're about to have some some gooch fluids flowing. You just don't do that. People are pointing out his finger. Some people don't. Some people don't like the finger. Apparently, I love the finger. The finger is amazing. Looks like a hot dog. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I'm don't, hungry. Don't point that yellow sausage at me. <laughs> let, this is the let that child alone face. <laughs> let that child alone. <laughs> Shame that both of their effects are kind of crap. Uh, well, assault mode can like send warriors from your deck directly to the graveyard, which is neat. Uh, but he, he was usable once. It was like 100, or 200 attack reduction increase. Whatever. It's kind of insignificant. In the whole scheme of things, but whatever, we're not we're not trading cards here, only art. Only art. Yes. Yeah. Cause we know art. We don't know cards. We don't know either. But we feel that we are capable of judging it. So Why? I don't know. Um next up is gonna be interesting. Why is All it so right. hard we, to we find have... art of cards that were like Widely, widely used by popular characters. You just have to dig a little deep. Oh, okay, that was actually pretty easy. They uh, actually whitewashed Thanos. <laughs> Thanos guards, Thanos guards. <laughs> Jimbo's do a Where funny. Do do... So much. Do they? <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> aye, aye, aye. Uh, I, I never knew that to be a specifically Mexican thing. It always seemed to me like the kid who doesn't feel like playing Six Samurai but still really wants to win. La Luz I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Real Luigi, for the hundred purple things. Anyway, here is Red Dragon Archfiend. Una forma uno por ciento. Uh oh. Man, Red Dragon Archfiend. We we need to do a fucking aesthetic on that. Well, here we go. <laughs> we can start with this. Ah! <laughs> 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 He's got his arms out like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Just arrived at a party. <laughs> Welcome to the party. I'm Red Dragon Archfiend. I'm an Archfiend. <laughs> He's already got armor on. I feel like pointing this out now. Yeah. Um, 
There was always kind of the thing thing. about Red Dragon Archfiend dudes. Like, in comparison to Stardust Dragon, he's got this, like, grand, powerful aura going on, as opposed to Stardust, which has this kind of more majestic, uh, sparkly thing. Yeah. Uh, about this specific design, I'm not sure how to feel. I think... Say some gangsters dissing your fly girl. <laughs> Just give him one of these! Just gotta hit him with one of these! 3,000. Um... <laughs> He does have a trail of arrows <laughs> pointing down to his dick. Yeah. It's just sort of guiding you. Check it out. <laughs> his body's like a card game racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like Toriyama Frieza lumps on his legs. That's that's a like a fucking essay. Not Frieza itself. lumps, uh, piccolo lumps. Yeah, piccolo lumps. Like just the ridges that he puts on shit. I the think <laughs> there are a lot of, like, weird, inconsistent details here. Like, the arrows on his body, the lumps on his legs, the ones in his armor and the arms. Uh, yeah, he does have those. Like, all kind of different little details. But I think overall the design is pretty aesthetically pleasing. This is a kind of generic, scary, evil dragon. I never felt too yeah. strongly about any of the Red Dragon Archfiends except for the uh, super high-level ones. Uh, thank you, non-gender with left beef, amazing <laughs> username, by the way. So... A+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this this is a fine guy. I, c- I can live with him. Yeah, he's fine. Um, what was I going to say? He's very muscular. Like, yeah, he this has is, human. The, uh, human he arms came. With, he like, came from muscles. the uh, <clears throat> fucking. Uh, uh, please mind you that it says El Wata or Buata or whatever the hell it is at the top of the card. El, El, El Bu- I don't give a shit. El Buato. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> so, uh, the thing about Red Dragon Archfiend is that it comes from a time when. Uh, there was a lot of kind of ripped dragons as an art concept in the game. You have Vice Dragon, you got Montage Dragon, you have this guy. And all of them came around the same time, and I guess the artist was really into, like, borrowed dragons at the time, which is why all these dudes are, like, retardedly ripped. Yeah, that's the, the fucked up thing, is that this is subtly <laughs> furry. Like, you look at this, you look at his arms and his legs divorced from, like, his hands and feet, and this is clearly a creature meant to stand upright. And he's also really muscular, and he's got these arrows pointing to his fucking dingling. Bro, do you even synchro, bro? This... <laughs> this is just furry. We are furries now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, we are? Ah, that's a, sh- that's a shame. I didn't know I was. I, I knew you were. Me <laughs> you too. Didn't, you didn't. I didn't, I say after 15 commissions. Anyway, <laughs> uh, here's Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, and I'm, I'm like, at first I'm struggling to find a difference, but there are some. There are I'm some sure key differences here. <clears throat> oh, oh, goodness. I, I, I love his fucking Warhammer fucking <laughs> armor face. Another chest face. Yeah, but Seems this one to be a like... kind of mildly recurring theme with assault modes. With the dragons so far, at least, yeah. Um, but it doesn't, like, lead to anything. It's not like, there's not, like, glowing shit in it. It's just like, hey, here's a mouth that leads to, like, my fucking solar plexus. <laughs> think he also got a big crotch protector. Did he? Oh, he did! He got, like, one that goes right down between his thighs. They should have called <laughs> this crotch protection mode. You gotta protect your dick if you're gonna go assault something, dude. Dick shield mode. Anyway, um... <laughs> Dicko mode. Dicko mode. I don't know what's with the weird-ass blades shooting out of his wings on the left or right. I was right. about to point that out. He's got, like, some dragonfly shit going on. Really weird-ass detail. It's not good. <laughs> Again, I feel... This is one of those, like, uh... Battleizer... <laughs> This is one of, like, those Power Rangers battle ro- uh, battleizer outfits, which is when a Power Ranger gets a really dumb upgrade, it manifests as a sort of ugly, fat armor on top of his already mildly busy design. And 
this just kind of looks silly, because the original design was fine for what it wanted to convey. The, 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 the assault mode design is just more of that. Make him, make him look... B give him more of the strong shit. Powerful just stuff. Him make more. him strong, scary, big armor, monster, dragon, man. Grr! Another face. Big teeth. Teeth face. <laughs> give him the teeth face. And, and really, a so, uh, JB Nova. Just Come on, kids. Let's go save Yu Gi Oh! 5. These two. Two. But, like, it is just battleizers, as you said. You take the busy ass Yu Gi Oh! design, which someone spent way too much time on already, and put fucking more armor on it, more details, more things. And as we've seen from the fucking 5D's dragons or whatever, or Arc 5 dragons, what am I saying? It just doesn't work. You need to stop after a certain point. If you've made a normal ass cool dragon and maybe given him some armor, cool you can go home. Dragons. You can <laughs> cool dragon armors. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Late at night in Kazuki Takahashi's studio, <laughs> trying to find a design for this fucking thing. So, the recurring theme in assault modes is give them armor. Not, yeah. not, you know, it doesn't really give me the assault mode vibe. I don't, I don't know how adding more shit, more like armor on top of these dudes makes them assault harder. But, like, the only vibe I ever got of that sort was from Colossal Fighter Assault Mode. Because Doom, Colossal Fighter was great! Doom Kaiser got a, Doom Kaiser got a face, Arcanite Magician took off his pajamas, Stardust Dragon just became incomprehensible. This dude got some armor and, like, a couple of really unpleasant blades on his back, which are completely pointless. Also, knuckles on his claws, I think? Yeah, yeah. he's got extra claws <coughs> that are shorter than his real claws, so that if he misses, I guess he gets another shot? I don't understand. I guess he'll never miss, huh? I'm leaving. Bye-bye, Jumbles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are these yet more faces? Because you can kind of see behind the, the spikes there. There's like an eye. So it just added more faces onto them. Very scary. I am scared. I don't like looking anymore. I'm scared. I'm being assaulted. Anyway, um, looks worse than the original. Konami wanted to cover up its true Next. assault mode. Oh, this better not be porn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't porn. I mean, I can see from here what is. Oh no! <laughs> okay, we have only one. You're not allowed to touch. We have only one assault mode monster left. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my <clears throat> coughing because I have turned the AC off for some reason. Turn the AC on. I just turned the AC on. Fellas, can I get a like for the AC? Can I get a donation for turning the AC on? Rock on, <laughs> gamers. Press 1 for the AC. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, no. I'm going to salt mode. I'm going to salt mode. <laughs> 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 Turn the AC assault mode on. <clears throat> Fuck. So here Fuck. is Hyper Psychic Blast. Oh, yes. The Roller of Infernos. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is that what it looks like? What? Oh. Oh, he looks like a Power Rangers. <laughs> this looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> it really does. Look at him. I... You know, I never really kind of took time to look at him. It seems to be He's got USB jacks. No, not USB. He's got headphone jacks on his guns. Yeah, that's they plugged them into his uh, back. No, in oh, the front of his guns. Oh, he does! Look at that! I don't- I don't even- I can't even begin to tell you what that does. He, like, he damages with one gun and heals with the other, I guess, because of his effect. The rest of him is, like, perfectly symmetrical, I don't know what to make of that. 
Um, it's it's a little alarming just to look at him. It's like half Vylon, half Sparkman. It's distressing, is what he, it's called. His head is just a like a generic Western, well, not Western, but kind of generic cyberpunk police robot sci-fi yeah. robot dude. Here's the, the anime robot head. He's very scary, guys. I don't know what's going on with his back. <laughs> Notice, no bulge. Anyway, uh, we don't know what to make of this one. However, let's take a look at his more offensive version. <laughs> Please. Uh, here's hyper psychic blaster assault mode engage to the max forever engage and start the action lightning. the lightning god look at him. So, oh, 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 I don't want to see advanced wars concept art I came here for Yu-Gi-Oh he's been it's like the guy on the left but finished yeah. <laughs> Wait, stop. We can make that a card. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop drawing. Is... We can make two cards out of this. <laughs> His head is now a fucking... Everything. His head is a Mysterio tube. He, yeah, that's what it is. This is Mysterio. Assault mode. Like... A bunch of his body has been dipped into, like, this green LCL thing. No, and... it's just like the Matrix screensaver that everybody had ten years ago. <laughs> and it's covering, like, half of his body cumulatively. Yeah, but, like, it, uh, the green shit is a helmet on his head now, and over his yeah. chest, and, uh, and like, half armor on his legs, and, and a he's tail? Like a, a he's got, like, a frog. Can you repeat that, because you cut off? He's, he's got, like, a frog tail. Yeah, it's like a toad. It is. Hyper psychic toad. And his wings are spread. That's good also, for him. More gun cables. He's just got more cables for his guns. Oh, cool. Where do they he, go? He, what do they do? He, we don't he know. can store more info, manipulate psychic data, take over our field, world government. So. <laughs> also, look at his shoes! <laughs> look at his shoes! <laughs> Clunk. God, he's got like elephant feet. <laughs> Source engine has stopped working. Uh, excuse me. I need you to download Counter Strike Source if you want to live. <laughs> um, I I don't know what to say here. I'm so confused well, by this like entire fucking thing. I'm gonna tell you that fucking Blizzard has dropped the ball once again. The new Overwatch skins are not worth paying for. This is a fucking embarrassment. They need to stop. Listen. They need to work on making Overwatch. I vaguely like this. Like, the guy on the right, at least. Like, the green shit is interesting to me, and, like, the way his head glows under it. Um, I mean, I like it, visually, but it is a, l a little busy. I do like that we understand what the fucking, like, harp on his ass does, though. It turns into wings. For what yeah. reason, I don't know, but... Harp on his ass. So... Actually, yeah. This this just, like, put a bunch of Matrix code between the gaps in his armor, pretty much. So, which one do we say look the be looks the best? Because none of them look the best, but I'm gonna which go Which one is the best of the worst? Assault mode. Uh, fucking Colossal Fighter Assault mode. Probably takes the cake for me. Oh, is this the last one? Yeah, I mean, oh. until we go to, like, the support... I mean, yeah, the yeah. fourth support monsters. I, I think definitely Colossal Fighter, because he was such a simplistic design to begin with. They strapped some cool armor on him, and he fucking worked fine. Yeah. And this, yeah. like, compare that to this, where this is, like, an incredibly busy design that turns into a different incredibly busy design. Like, it's fine, it's a lateral move, but... <clears throat> you can do better than this. Okay, um... Final evaluation of the Assault Mode monsters. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so... How did this happen? Now we have... Kind of, There's uh... A time capsule on his head. <laughs> his head can go back in time! His head can go back to the past. 
play to, to kill game. to destroy some <laughs> shitty monsters and suck ass. <laughs> okay, let me find one of let me find the supports now. And this is some of the most bizarrely themed monsters in the game, which I'm about to elaborate on when we get to them. There there really is no consistent aesthetic to them. That yeah, I remember. this is like very edgy. I have talked about how Allies of Justice have no consistent aesthetic, and I'm sure we'll have them on, on this show at some point. Sooner or later. But this is Arcane Apprentice. Let's have a look at this. Wait, this one is, doesn't even have like the word assault in his name. No, none of them do. Uh, actually, what like uh, hold I think up. a handful. No, of no, them two do. two of them do. Never mind. But uh, two of them don't, and two of them do. But anyway, this is Arcane oh. Apprentice. This is the 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 guy that has the the most to do with the rest of the uh, assault modes. Because look look at that. There is the robe of the Arcane Magician over there. But yep. he's just a Jawa with a staff in front of it. Who is this? He's just Why a is little, he there? A little Final Fantasy bitch, and he's saying, "No, you can't touch the armor. You're not allowed." Or I'm gonna burn you with my I'm my fingers. I I know fire agate. Soul spear. Soul spear. <laughs> he does Soul have spear. like the Dark Souls magic staff. I am this here. I have I have leveled my attunement so high. Soul spear. <laughs> Crystal soul <laughs> mass. It looks like my skill has prevailed once again. There is a sword in my chest. How could this happen? How could this happen? Uh, anyway... That's, that's just a dude. I like him. I like, like... I like, 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 like... I am fond of designs that are just... Things in the dark, but glowing. Which is kind of how his eyes work. Yeah, he's but a little Final Fantasy boy. Overall, this is just a generic little mage guy. Uh, he looks fine, you know. I think friendly. that's just shape snatcher in a costume. He's about to steal the robe, and he's like, "I'm not, I'm not doing anything." <laughs> Stand <Stop laughs> back! You didn't see it. <laughs> do you think this dude is squatting out of frame? I mean, his legs do go wide. I think he's power stancing pretty hard to do that that fire spell. Now here. <laughs> This is one of the 30 guys that helps put on the assault mode armor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, steady. Steady. Uh, uh, uh. Keep him in place. <laughs> we dropped his shoulder. So, uh, here comes a card that, you know, if you paid me, I wouldn't be able to convince myself it's a fucking assault mode support. And this is Nightwing Sorceress. Oh, right. Oh, right. I thought she had the word assault in her name. Nope. This is an assault on common sense, as you're about to see. <laughs> so, oh, wow. What's up, Neopets? What is going on here? <laughs> uh, this is my roleplay character. She's a vampire angel, and her power is maximum. Mm -hmm. And her and name is... She's she's, her name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway. <laughs> This full on is just like go on any anime role playing forum and you'll find ten girls exactly like this. <laughs> She's a nightcore background. <laughs> <laughs> Going fast makes me feel alive. My heart beats in hot for drive. I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> I did. Yeah. My my sixteen year old daughter made some cool art. Could we use it for like a new card? You've got that assault mode shit coming out, right? <laughs> <laughs> what a bizarre fucking direction! Like, Very, this. Just. I feel like they made this art as random pack filler, and somebody went, oh, these assault modes could use some support, just make it, who gives a shit? If you, if you put Graceful Charity next to this, it becomes, I could be your angle or your devil. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, somebody pointed. I noticed this, but I haven't. I didn't point it out. The other wing, the wing in the back, looks like it's coming yeah. out of nowhere. It's also bigger. Yeah, physically. it's bigger. Like you got, you got I don't know what's going on here. It, it's a very common problem, and you shouldn't be insensitive. I'll have you know. I'm sorry. Anyway, I rate this one a MySpace out of ten. Same. <laughs> I rate this one an Evanescence MIDI out of uh, Raining Blood by Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I don't know if it's the MIDI or my computer screaming. <laughs> okay, this folder is all the cool Yu-Gi-Oh art I drew. And this folder is my DeviantArt OCs. I should label these, but I'm sure I sent the right one to them. Uh, next seven, up... Seven, seven, uh, next up, almost as bad. Possibly more bad, depending on your preference of badness. Assault Beast. No, Assault Mercenary. Oh, yeah. We're about to get to Assault Beast. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, this a horny deviant. Oh my god. Oh no, you're about to. Yeah. Look at that! So... Gene warped Warwolf enlisted in I the can't army. See. <laughs> Someone tell me what I'm holding! Please! He's got a gigantic fucking kite shield on his dick! <laughs> Look at it! It seems to be a recurring theme with assault mode. Join the army, we got dick shields! He's got this riveted, like, massive thing! Next, oh my next are for losers! <laughs> I this whole time I never knew what he was carrying. It's some kind of like sci-fi gun. I thought it was a chainsaw when I saw the car initially. No, nope, it's a really <laughs> shitty '60s Star Trek rocket launcher or something. God, look at that thing! <laughs> it's the dick cutter. If he gets a motor, it cuts his cock in half. Finally, someone glued TV Robo to his dick, and it just wants to die already. <laughs> An archetype perfect for monsters with no necks! Finally! A card for me! <laughs> is he wearing like a hood or is his skin just. No, like that's it? how. Yeah. I think that's just how Gene Warp Warwolf looks. Doesn't Gene Warp Warwolf have forearms? It, it seems to be like in the same school of design. I don't want to say it's him, but it is ostensibly similar. It's the same, like, creature, definitely. Maybe it's a clone of Gene War Werewolf that went wrong and has, like, skin disease? I don't know what that is. Feathers? I am I am absolutely for the idea of a uh, Beastman soldier, but this is one of the ugliest things I've seen in my life. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather a soldier, not an accident. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. legitimately he rectangle shape. Like... <laughs> he has a <laughs> he wants his turn on the fucking Xbox, and he is not afraid to take it. I must <laughs> say <Tactical ultrasound. laughs> It's my turn on the Xbox, and I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> Why is he got a Liefeld pouch? Oh, that's a good point. Oh yeah, he, he has two pouches. That's where he keeps the, the, the laser dick cutter ammo. <laughs> that's where he keeps his spare dick, so he can screw one back on. <laughs> Okay, so done with that. I don't want to look at that anymore. So. Oh my Christ! Mom says it's my turn to use assault mode. <laughs> I'm about to look at this dude up close for the first time. Oh boy! Is this assault beast? Yes. Here is. Thank you, Yogi Bear. Assault beast. All right, I like assault beast. This is genuinely. Uh, high quality art, I think. This is just like a Zelda monster. This is just, hey guys, do you remember this monster that was in the first Zelda? I drew some sick fan art of it. It looks nothing like that little sprite, but it's pretty cool. Well, all the Barra furry enthusiasts in the chat are going wild right now, so. Oh, God, stop. <laughs> I mean, compared to the last thing we got, that is like a very, like, well designed thing overall. I could see this in, like, a JR. Fantasy JRPG game is a party member, yeah. or just like as an enemy, like he he works fine. Yeah, this fine. is a cool cool dude. You know, <laughs> I just have aesthetic? I just have one problem. What's that? What the ever loving fuck does this have to do with assault mode? Uh, you discard him and you get assault mode. He's like the only useful support card we've looked at. No, I mean, visually. I, I know what you meant. I'm just that's the only answer I can give you is I know what he does. I have no idea. How he relates to fucking laser gun warwolf back there. <laughs> also, his pube game is stronger than anything I've ever seen. Pube if you game? Want to just take a look. Oh my! Look at his oh mouth. no! <laughs> like the Amazon rainforest down there. <laughs> oh no! They call it Amazon S Village. I don't have to tell you why. <laughs> I -o. So, he um, insults your bulge. 
<laughs> Let me repeat a really bad meme to rate this one. It's Please. a good art, it's just not a good assault mode art. It's great. <laughs> yeah, furry art, 5 out of 5. Assault mode, 2 out of 5. <laughs> so as the final card, because I really don't don't want to look over the entirety of the assault mode spells and traps, and we're not going to look at spells and traps for most of the time, uh, I just want to take a look at assault mode activate. Please. I'm sorry for leaving you so soon, friends. No, it's, it, it's Christmas. We've got... Oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ah. This card hurts! <laughs> His mouth is dislocating. His body is just... He is in pain, this poor boy. Uh, somebody His asked what about the new... I'm sorry, somebody asked what about the new Assault Mode monster, and before I forget about it, let me just say, it is one of the most generic-looking psychic things I've seen in my life. It's not worth it's, pointing out. It's just a psychic monster. It I'm is sorry to tell you It is a psychic monster. It has nothing <laughs> to do... With a salt mode. Anyway, <laughs> uh. Ah! Ah! This... I, am... <laughs> I am huge and pointing. <laughs> I am short <laughs> and picking up a oh. card. He is short. He's picking up a card. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> He's summoning armor, and he's yeah. not summoning any armor that any yeah, of the assault mode that's monsters the thing. use. I was about. I specifically <laughs> pointed out this card art because. None of this armor has anything to do with any of the Assault Mode monsters. That's not even Assault Beast's, like, flail. That's just a flail with weird yeah, asymmetric spikes. Yeah, this is spikes. generic <laughs> RPG armor and weapons. <laughs> what card is he holding? Marshmallow? <laughs> Did he draw an upstart? <laughs> Why is he screaming? Is the card tribe infecting virus? That card's bad! <laughs> <laughs> Kubo and the True Strings be looking sick. <laughs> That's how Richter Belmont got his out. <laughs> anyway, I like the energy in this artwork. I I like how kind of fierce it is. It's just the the all the details in it look so silly. Like this guy's fucking hair is how to draw manga book one. <laughs> It's literally going over his fucking eyes and nose. It's going over his whole face! This is just like what he character. looks like in, in real life normally. Just his entire head is hair. I can't see! I can't breathe! Ah, make my monster grow! <laughs> Assault mode activate! Make my monster get a dick shield! Make my monster worse! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> hentai oh MC. Yeah, this is a hentai MC. Yeah, this guy has like 10 girls who inexplicably want to fuck him and he doesn't know it and never will. This guy fucks. This guy fucks. <laughs> is this what it looks like to go sicko mode? Oh, so I never, never want to go sicko mode. I never want to go sicko mode again. Anyway, I think we're done with tonight's pathetic aesthetic, everybody. God, absolutely wild. It's just our Christmas gift to you. Yeah, consider this. Emma, you know, because I'm obviously not going to be done with Light Swords this month, because I never am. <laughs> you know, when I say I'm working on a video this month, you expected the next one. I'm pretty sure you used it by now. Anyway, uh, tune in next time for some cards. Some cards, some games. Uh... That's about it. Tune really. in next time for... Haha. <laughs> what a dialogue. <laughs>